Hi there, welcome to Sermatigo channel. Today, I am going to discuss how to solve quadratic equation by factoring. We know that the quadratic equation is given by ax squared positive bx positive c is equal to zero. We will solve equations like this by factoring. I would like to begin with the ones having perfect square trinomials. For example, x squared positive 6x positive 9 is equal to 0. Another one, 4x squared positive 12x positive 9 is equal to 0. These are two quadratic equations having perfect square trinomials in the left side. Let us solve the number 1. Solve x squared positive 6x positive 9 is equal to 0. Let's start by factoring x squared, we have x times x. Factor 9, we have 3 times 3. And 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. That is found in the middle term. We make sure that the factors of 9, when we add these factors, the sum is equal to 6. That is found in the middle term. So our factors now are x plus 3 and x plus 3. We have a square of binomial. Equate this to 0. And by zero product property, we have x plus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 3. Example 2. Solve 4x squared positive 12x positive 9 is equal to 0. Now here, our a is equal to 4. So to solve this, we have to apply the same procedure and uh, 4x squared the factors are 2x times 2x and 9 is uh, 3 times 3 the middle term we have 6 plus 6x so in order to have the same numbers with the factors of 9 we divide 6 by 2 that is 3 so we have in the middle term 3 plus 3x See, you have the same numbers as in the factors of 9. So 3 plus 3x, we have 3 times 3. And we can pair 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3. These are our factors. By zero product property, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. And uh, we solve x. We have x is equal to negative 3 over 2. Another set of examples has no perfect square trinomial like the following. x squared positive 8x positive 12 is equal to 0. And a here is equal to 1. Another, 6x squared negative 11x positive 3 is equal to 0. a is 6 in this example. Here is how to solve these two equations. Let's begin with the first one. Solve x squared positive 8x positive 12 is equal to 0 by factoring. We also have to follow the previous procedures. We begin factoring x squared, that is x times x. We factor 12, and we have to make sure that the sum of these factors is equal to 8, that is found in the middle term. So the factors of 12 are 6 and 2. And 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. This means that we have to see to it that the factors 6 and 2 are also the same numbers as addends of 8. After doing this, we can now pair x plus 6 times x plus 2 and equate this to 0. Then we solve x. By zero product property, x plus 6 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 6. In the other one, x plus 2 is equal to 0, then x is equal to negative 2. These are the two solutions, x is negative 6 and x is negative 2. The last example is the most interesting. Solve 6x squared negative 11x positive 3 is equal to 0 by factoring. In this equation, a is equal to 6, which is not a perfect square, and 3 is also not a perfect square. 
So, here's how to solve this quadratic equation by factoring. We begin by multiplying 6x squared and 3. This is 18x squared. Then, we have to factor 18x squared and make sure that these factors when added will be negative 11x. So the factors of 18x squared are negative 2x and negative 9x. You just try to multiply. Negative 2x times negative 9x is 18x squared. Negative 2x plus negative 9x is negative 11x. See? Now we can substitute negative 2x and negative 9x to negative 11x in the equation above. So, our new equation is 6x squared negative 2x negative 9x positive 3 is equal to 0. We group 6x squared negative 2x and group negative 9x positive 3. Then equate this to 0. Next, we have to factor 6x squared negative 2x. And that is 2x times 3x negative 1. We also factor negative 9x positive 3. And that is negative 3 times 3x negative 1. Equate this to 0. This is our new equation. Now, we can see a common binomial factor in this new equation. And that is 3x negative 1. We put this common binomial factor in the left part. And the remaining factor is 2x negative 3. We put it beside 3x negative 1. And indicate equals 0. We now have the two factors 3x negative 1 times 2x negative 3 is equal to 0. This is our new equation. Then, we solve x by using the zero product property. 3x negative 1 is equal to 0, and the other one, 2x negative 3 is equal to 0. We solve x. We transpose negative 1 to the right, so we have 3x is equal to positive 1. And then multiply both sides by 1 third. x is equal to positive 1 third. The other one, we transpose negative 3 to the right. We have 2x is equal to positive 3. Multiply both sides by 1 half. We have x is equal to 3 halves. These are the two solutions. x equals to 1 third and x is equal to 3 halves. So just take note of these four examples and you can easily solve quadratic equations by factoring. Now let's try this. Solve the following quadratic equations by factoring. You may pause this video for answering. Number one. X squared positive 12x positive 36 is equal to zero. Solution. X is equal to negative 6. Number 2, 9x squared positive 6x positive 1 is equal to 0. Solution, x is equal to negative 1 third. Number 3, x squared negative 12x positive 20 is equal to 0. Solutions, x is equal to positive 10, x is equal to positive 2. Number 4. 3x squared negative 14x positive 8 is equal to 0. Solution. x is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2 thirds. I hope you learned today. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.